Hey everybody and welcome to the third CSS video tutorial here at beginnertouch.com. In this video I'll be showing you how to do some text styling in CSS. I'll be showing you how to do an overall styling of a heading and a special styling of a heading using classes. I won't be showing you how to do it inline because I have a feeling that you already know how to do this. Uh, basically it's just about going into the opening tag, typing in the attribute style and then um, styling the different properties. So I won't be showing that. I will only be using a style sheet in this video. Therefore I have made two documents or two files. I have made a HTML file and a style sheet file. And in my HTML file I have already linked the style sheet file. So let me show you how to make an overall uh, heading style. So I'm just gonna jump into my style sheet file and then in here I'm gonna type in h1 because that's the tag for a heading 1. I'm gonna make the curly brackets. First I would like to specify um, the font family. So I'm gonna type in font and family. And then I would like it to be Times New Roman. And I'm ending it with a semicolon. Next I would like to style the property font size. That one, and I want that to be um, 18 pixels. I would also like to add a property called text decoration and I want it to be underlined like that. Then finally I would like to add a color for my overall heading 1 style. So I'm just going to type in color, not like that. And I'm going to pick a red color and the hexadecimal value for that is F00, ending it with a semicolon. Let's try viewing uh, our HTML document in the browser now. I don't know if you saw that I had already made two headings in my HTML document, but I had. And uh, the two headings looks like this. And as you can see, these two headings has now been styled with the overall heading styling. They are red, they, ha they are underlined, and they have a font size of 18 pixels. So basically now, if I make a heading 1, it will get this styling. So now I want to make a special styling, a styling which I can use on headings which are not supposed to be styled like the overall styling. And uh, I want to add that styling to this heading down here. But before I do that, I will just jump into my CSS document and uh, make the styling. So what I need to do to make a special styling for this uh, heading one is to go down here first. And then I'll type in h1 because it's a heading one. Then I'm going to type in dot. Then I'm gonna name uh, my special styling and uh, let's just call it um, special heading. Like that. Then I'm gonna add the curly brackets again. And then we can pretty much uh, do the styling again. Uh, but instead of writing everything, I'm just gonna copy this one up here and paste it in. And I'm just gonna change the pixel size and. Now I want it to be, let's say, overlined and the color should now be yellow, like that. And that is my special heading 1 styling. And that is basically also how you make a special styling for your other text tags. First you type in the tag name and then you add a dot and then a name for that specific styling. And in this case I have made a heading 1 special styling. And now I'm gonna go into my HTML document and apply it to my heading. So I'm gonna go in here. In here I'm gonna go down to my heading which I want to apply this special styling to. And add an attribute called class. Because when adding special stylings for text, uh, tags and elements we use the attribute class and not ID. And as you recall, we call it special heading. So I'm just going to view it in the browser. And as you can see, we now got a special styling for this heading down here. It is yellow and it is overlined. And it also have a font size of 20 pixels. This styling will only be applied to headings uh, in which you add the class uh, special heading. Otherwise, your heading ones will be styled like this one up here. So now you know how to make special uh, stylings for your text elements and uh, overall stylings for your text elements. And it is basically the same way for paragraphs, um, spans, 
um, hitting ones, hitting twos, whatever. Um, so now you're good to go. If you have any questions or comments, please visit beginnertest.com. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you for watching.